Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. This is said to be one of the hardest SAT questions ever. What is the greatest possible area of a triangle with one side of length 7 and another side of length 10? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two ways to solve the problem. The first method uses trigonometry. The area of a triangle can be expressed as AB over 2 multiplied by the sine of theta. Interestingly, this was first known to the Indian mathematician Arya Bhatt. In this case, we have A and B are equal to 7 and 10. So the area only depends on the sine of theta, where theta is the angle between these two sides. We know the maximum possible value of sine theta is 1, and that occurs when theta is equal to 90 degrees. Substituting in, the largest possible area is 1 half multiplied by 7 multiplied by 10, and that's 1 half of 70, which is equal to 35. And that's one way to solve the problem. Another method is a visual method using geometry. Let's have one length of 10 and we have the other length of 7. Now we can consider all possible triangles by changing this length of 7. This length of 7 will span a semicircle and we can see the different heights of all possible triangles. The largest height will happen when the length of 7 is perpendicular to the length of 10 and we form a right triangle. So once again, we can see the greatest possible area is equal to 1 half multiplied by 7 multiplied by 10, and that's equal to 35. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.